Hello, folks. It's me again, Amanda Enderman, your trusty tour guide in the wonders of the wonderful city, also known as Rio de Janeiro. And welcome to the second episode of the, of the Random Topics series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the imprisonment and the execution of the man which is considered by Brazilian history as the martyr of Brazil's independence, Joaquim José da Silva Xavier, or his nickname, which is best known, Tiradentes. All right, and in fact, this is why before you go saying, oh, then it's a clickbait and such, I saw the title, he was never a martyr and, and such. This is why I put the title, A Martyr in Rio. I was referring to you, the martyr of Brazil's independence. And in fact, if you search, if you search any Brazilian history book and, and even talk to Brazilians, you can ask Brazilians about it, this is actually a fact. He is considered that. So, but before I get to the theme of the video, thank you so much for all of, for all of you who, uh, I mean, thank you so much, all of you who have subscribed to the channel recently. The channel has grown considerably in the, uh, in the past few days. From the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you and welcome to this channel. Okay, and for those of you who have just arrived in this channel and this is the first video you're watching, I recommend that you watch also the series Real the History so that you can have a better idea what kind of content I'm, uh, I'm offering you. Um, and also, if you do like the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the videos and uh, and share this video, these and the other, this and the other videos with as many people as you possibly can so that, uh, uh, so that more and more people may know about the wonders of the wonderful city. All right. So moving on to the actual topic of, uh, of the video. So this man, Joaquim José da Silva Xavier or Tiradentes, he was, uh, he was from Minas, actually, but he was uh, what was called an alferes. So he was in charge of overseeing the transport of gold from Minas to Rio. Um, and, and I will leave also a card right here for, the, for a video that I made previously called Making a Buck in Rio Part 2, where I talk about the um, uh, the discovery of gold in Brazil, how that how that uh, came came about, and how the gold was was transported from Minas uh, to Rio, and all of that. So it, so after watching this video, you can go and watch this one as well. All right. So Tiradentes was one of the people in charge of overseeing this transport. So since he was in charge of that. He, he knew many people, both in Minas as well as in Rio. In fact, he was constantly going from Rio to Minas and from Minas to Rio. All right, so because of this, the other members of the movement uh, uh, that were trying to uh, get, uh, get Brazil in, uh, independent from Portugal and turn Brazil in, uh, into a republic, they uh, entrusted him with the, with the task of getting of gaining more supporters for the movement because well uh, in Minas the movement was already very strong they had quite they had uh, a lot of supporters in Minas but they needed supporters in Rio because Rio was the capital at already at this point so uh, kind of like uh, just like I'm in the quest for subscribers in this channel they were in the quest for more supporters only well uh, uh, and by the end of the video, you'll understand why. Uh, well, why I'm why I'm saying this. Well, I hope, uh, I hope. Let us pray that my my quest for subscribers, unlike this movement, is a successful one. <laughs> so, anyways, so uh, so the thing is that he was arrested 
uh, right here in Rio and the execution also happened here in Rio. And this is the, the, the contra one, of the, one of the many controversial bits about this theme here in Brazil, because a lot of people think that he was executed in Minas, mind you. So it's, it's a very uh, unclear and controversial topic, okay, here in Brazil. And this is why, this is, what, this is one of the topics that I chose to uh, uh, talk about in, uh, in the random topic series. <laughs> so, uh, so let me share my screen with you without further ado. So he was arrested right here in this street, all right? which is the Gonçalves Diaz street here in Rio. Uh, so, and this is the street where the, where the Colombo Cafe is in case you're wondering. So if you go just a little bit further, you'll find the Colombo Cafe, all right? But at the time, no Colombo Cafe just yet, okay? So uh, he was here and the reason why he got arrested is because, well, he was betrayed by one of the members of the movement. Yes, one of the members of the movement betrayed his whereabouts to the authorities. And so the authorities caught him at night when he was um, walking down this street over here. And he was then taken to jail. And jail at the time meant this place over here. This is where he, uh, he was taken to. Um, uh, and you may be wondering, but Amanda, I have already been to Rio or, or people have shown me uh, pictures of the downtown area of Rio and I have never seen this place over here. Um, where exactly in the downtown area is this place after all? So the thing is that this place was, <clears throat> was completely uh, remodeled, shall we say, in the early Republican uh, period uh, in, uh, here uh, in Brazil the meaning the meaning the the um, uh, the early 1900s and nowadays this is what it looks like and also nowadays it is no longer a prison it is the legislative assembly of the of the state of rio so this is where the representatives of the of the state of rio gather to discuss uh, and to make new laws all right not the city, the state, okay? So, and also, uh, and also here, right in front of, right in front of the, of the, of the Legislative Assembly is a statue of Tiradentes. No wonder, because this is where he was arrested, okay? So now, and, um, and, uh, and here in this slide is his actual death sentence which was, uh, which was signed by this guy over here, Francisco Luiz Alves da Rocha, but the, the order came directly from the, the queen of Portugal, which at the time it, wa, uh, it was a queen that ruled Portugal, which was this queen over here, which is Queen Mary I. And she, by the way, is also a very controversial figure in the history of Brazil. Okay, uh, because you see so much so that you see in Brazil, she is referred as Mad Queen Mary the First, whereas in Portugal, she is referred to as Pious, as Queen Mary the Pious, in uh, referring to religious piety. You know, she was very, she was, and she was in fact very religious. So if you would like a video of me uh, talking specifically about her, just say so in the comments because perhaps I'll bring, uh, I'll bring you a video about her in the future. So going on to the sentence, his death sentence. So let's, let me, let me, um, uh, of course it is in Portuguese. This was actually a picture taken by yours truly. Okay, in the Museum of the Inconfidence in Ouro Preto, this is how the, uh, the movement was called originally, the Inconfidence of Minas. Um, and, and, uh, and here is the actual sentence. And, and I took a picture of it, of course, when I was there two years ago in, uh, uh, two years ago in 2019. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, the Queen, Our Lady, um, 
uh, orders that this infamous uh, uh, felon, um, Joaquin José da Silva Xavier, for the horrendous crime of high treason, um, uh, of which he was head, of which he was the uh, the head in the in the um, in the province, I guess I guess you could call it uh, of Minas Gerais, um, with the most scandalous act against the royal sovereignty and supreme authority of the same lady. Uh, uh, which may God keep. So this, they're talk, they're basically saying that the queen, our anointed queen, orders that that this right over here happens to uh, this to Joaquim José da Silva Xavier. Okay, um, so uh, she is ordering that with rope and um, and announcement with rope and announcement meaning that he would he would um, he would be taken to the gallows with the rope already on his neck loosely tied loosely hanging already on his neck so that he be taken through the public streets of this city this city is as you can see uh, rio all right um, to the place of the the uh, uh, to the gallows and there may he die a natural death forever. And though this may seem redundant, dying a natural death forever um, meant that, well, it, it was actually part of the Philippine ordinances, uh, this, uh, this death sentence, this kind of death sentence, which uh, the Philippine ordinances were ordered by this king over here, which came before, uh, Queen Mary the first of Portugal, uh, which was uh, which was King Philip the second of Portugal. So going back to the to the actual sentence, so to die a natural death meant dying by hanging. So first he was hanged until he died. This is how it it happened here uh, um, here in Brazil. Uh, this kind of sentence, and forever meant that even after death, the body would be left hanging there until the until the um, the religious order would uh, remove it. Okay, until the authorities decided to remove it. Uh, but in this case, it goes further, and that the head should be severed from the body after so here it's clear that first he's going to die this natural death forever and then the head would would be separated from the uh from the body and taken to Vila Rica this is the original name for Ouro Preto where it will be uh preserved in a high pole uh close to the place where he lives until it is consumed by time all right uh, so, so let me just show you here real, real quick. Forgive me, I'm going to have to uh, go a little bit out of order. So this over here is Tiradentes Square at Ouro Preto. And my goodness, uh, it, it, this is in Minas. I highly recommend that you go there. I can't say enough good things about it. And you can see that it's basically like going back in time to the 18th century. You know, and and you see this kinds of, of houses. This is what uh, cities. This is what all of the cities look like looked like in colonial Brazil. This is uh, Rio also looked like this with these kinds of uh, of houses in colonial Brazil. Um, and but in this city, the whole city to this day is preserved like this. So literally, it's like going back in time. Okay, and the only way that you can go there is by bus or by car. And by bus or by car from Rio, it's in a seven hour or eight hour and a half drive. I don't remember if it's seven and a half hours or eight and a half hours, it's one of the two. Um, but it's well worth your while, as are all of the historic cities in Minas. It, as a matter of fact, Minas, uh, the Royal Road is uh, uh, I mean, it's a never-ending 
a cornucopia of Brazilian uh, colonial history. So do check it out if you're ever in Brazil. So this is the, the, the center of Ouro Preto, which is the Tiradentes Square. And here where this statue is, this is also a statue of him, okay? Uh, so this is where his head stood on a pike at the time. So this is where the sentence ordered that his, that his, that his head would stand on a pike until time would, would consume it. And this uh, at the, at the, at, um, during colonial times was the jail of the city. Okay, but nowadays this is, this is the Inconfidence Museum. This is where I took the picture of the, 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 the sentence that I, that, I, that I was showing you before. So let's go back to the sentence. So, uh, and that his body be divided into quarters. So you can see that he was, yes, hung, drawn and quartered. All right, but, you, but at least, you know, here in Brazil, it was a, a hanging, dying by hanging, drawing and quartering was a little bit uh, lighter than the European version of hanging, drawing and, <laughs> and quartering. And, um, and if you want to find that out, if, if you want to uh, find out what it was like in, uh, in Tudor England or in, Eliz or in uh, Elizabethan England, for instance, you can Google it uh, because you can Google it if you like. But the, but the main difference is that they, uh, they, they quartered the person uh, while, the per while the person was half dead not fully dead and also the, it, there was uh uh taking uh, the entrails of the person and throwing it uh, in the fire you know and all of that also oh by the way the in the movie uh braveheart you can uh, you can also see such an execution so uh so have fun with that <laughs> so anyways uh, though I will warn you once again, as I did in the videos about uh, slavery, hanging, drawing, and quartering uh, is a strong thing to see. And on purpose, I did not uh, put any uh, strong imagery in, uh, uh, in this video. You know, I don't want anyone having uh, nightmares on, uh, on my account. Uh, but if you go to see these scenes or these movies or these series and such, just be warned that they would they will be strong scenes as well <laughs> as well. So uh, that his body be divided in quarters and and hung in uh, in poles in the road of in the road to Minas Gerais in the most public places mainly in the cities of Virginia and Cebolas. These are two actual cities also in the state of Minas, by the way. Uh, and, that the, and that his house, uh, his house is, um, uh, how can I say, um, broken to the ground, completely destroyed. And, the, the, even, and even the land, even the remaining land be salted and the reason for this is so that the land became completely barren you couldn't do anything with it you couldn't you couldn't plant anything you couldn't do anything with that and in the midst of its of its ruins let there be uh put um um, um a monument uh where it where it will be preserved for for posterity the member of such an abominable um uh, felon and felony and that becoming infamous for his children and grandchildren may his uh worldly goods be confiscated for the portuguese crown okay so this was his sentence and it was and all of this was done uh, in April 21st, 1792, okay? And by the way, this date, he, this date uh, in Brazil is a date where multiple uh, important events in the history of Brazil occurred. Funny coincidence, right? Uh, besides this one. So, uh, so carrying on 
with the uh, with the video. So he, uh, what public streets are these? Are these? You may be wondering. So the public streets, the public streets that are mentioned in the video, uh, is actually this street over here, which is called Rua da Assembleia, be, uh, at least nowadays, because it's right next to the Legislative Assembly. So this is the Legislative Assembly that I was showing you earlier. And this is the Passo Imperial, which I have talked about already in previous videos. So he was taken through this street over here, okay, to the gallows. And he stopped, oh, and by the way, uh, before, uh, before I, talk, I talk about where he stopped to pray uh, on the way to the gallows, I, uh, the reason why I put this painting over here is that, well, uh, you see, the, the Republican movement in Brazil, uh, which happened, which Brazil's Republic was proclaimed in 1889, so far later than this, so the, re the Republican movement resurrected his image, and this was the movement that, that uh, um, uh, coined him as the martyr of Brazil's independence. All right, but you see the Republican movement, since they, it was pure political propaganda, 100%, this uh, title of martyr of the independence, you, you can be sure of it. So because they wanted to, um, to, to make him known as the martyr of the independence, they painted several, um, uh, paint, they, they made several paintings of him at the time, and, and his image is normally uh, like this. And you can see uh, in the statue even, let me, let, me, let me go back here. You can see even in the statue that is uh, here. So you can see even in the statue, he is portrayed with long hair and a long beard. The reason for that is because they want it, is because, well, Brazil is to this day, a country where the majority of the people are either Christian or Catholic. And even those of us who aren't, the majority of us have had a, a Christian or Catholic upbringing. So because of this, uh, and they were trying to make him into a martyr, um, they wanted people to associate him with the most well-known martyr of Christianism and Catholicism, which is of course, Jesus Christ. And tell me if it doesn't resemble if you don't immediately remember Jesus Christ, when you look at this long hair and long beard, am I right? Uh, but the thing is that this was pure political propaganda because he would, this is completely inaccurate historically. This is historically accurate. He would have, he would have gone to the gallows looking like this, not like this. Because you see, in the, in the jails at this time, they would shave the heads of the prisoners and uh, as well as their beards if they, if they were men. And this was precisely because uh, to avoid lice and other things, to avoid that they would catch lice and, um, uh, and fleas and, uh, and other things and ticks and, and, and the like. So this is how he would have, he would have, uh, he would have, um, looked like being taken to the gallows. And here is the, the rope that I mentioned in the sentence. He was taken to the gallows with the rope already hanging from his neck. Okay, this is, this is what, this is actually what the sentence ordered. So he was taken through this street over here, okay, looking like this to the place of the gallows. But, a, but in the middle of the of the of the way, he stopped at in front of this church over here, all right, which is called the Lampadosa Church. It is also in the downtown area in Rio, and he stopped over here, and he was allowed to uh, pray for one last time before he was executed. Uh, but he was not allowed to go into the church. He had to pray from the outside of the church. And this is also another very controversial uh, topic here in Brazil. The actual location of the, um, 
uh, of the the of the hangman's news where actually he was hanged drawn and quartered because you see a lot of people believe that this is the place that he was hung drawn and quartered you know in front of this church uh, but um, uh, but actually this is not what most historians uh, agree and uh, and I will get into this uh, right uh, in uh, in just a few seconds. <laughs> so, but he stopped here to pray, and then after praying here, he continued on his path to the place of the of the gallows, which was this square over here, which is the Chiradentes Square here uh, here in Rio, and also. And this is also a topic of great confusion because a lot of people think that a lot of people, even in Rio, if you ask people, oh, where is the Chiradentes Square? I would like to, uh, to, uh, to see it. People will lead you to that other uh, place, to, people will lead you to this place over, over, over here, which is not the Chiradentes Square, okay? But the and and, uh, and at least in Ouro Preto, uh, uh, let me show you. At least in Ouro Preto, at the Tiradentes Square, you have a statue of Tiradentes. Oh my God! I don't know how envious I was when I when I was there. It's so simple, so straight to the point. But no, here in Rio, the Tiradentes Square uh, has a statue of Dom Pedro the First which was our very first emperor and the man who actually proclaimed Brazil's independence. So not Tiradentes. Okay, so, so first of, so now let me, <laughs> let me explain both the, why most historians uh, agree that he was not executed in front of that church, which, uh, which I mentioned, which I showed you before and why there is a, a, a statue of Dom Pedro right over here. So uh, regarding the place of the actual place where it was done, all right, regarding the actual place, um, so most historians agree, they, they, also dis, they also, you know, vary in opinions. Uh, not all of them think that it was in this square precisely, um, but they, they, but all of them agree that it was in this area over here, in between these four streets over here. Okay, so the Presidente Vargas Street, the Uruguaiana Street, the Visconde do Rio Branco Street, and the Campo de Santana. Which is, uh, which is a park here uh, in the downtown area of Rio. Also a place that I, that I recommend that you go. All right, uh, very beautiful park, by the way. So, uh, and, the, and the, the square that I mentioned before is right here in this uh, red marker over here that I, that I put this red marker uh, in the map so you, so you could see. So you can see that the square, which is this, which is this over here, fits the bill of location so it is within the um, uh, it is within the um, uh, the the square that that they mention and another uh, uh, and other evidences lead them to believe that it was exactly in this square because what happened is that well this area over here of the square used to be uh, um, outside of the actual city of Rio. At the time, these were the outskirts of the city. And it was common also in Brazil for executions to be, to be um, done, to be uh, carried out at the, at the outskirts of cities, not at the centers of cities, nor was it was it a tradition for executions to be uh, to be carried out in front of churches. It wasn't a, tra a tradition here here in um, uh, here in Rio. So this is why it was it's very unlikely that he would have, that he would have been executed in front of a church. All right. So, but this square, on the other hand, 
was a very known place of executions. In fact, there was something called a Pelourinho right at this square, which is, um, which is kind of like a gallows. It's a different kind of gallows. So there was one in this square during colonial times. So one more evidence that points out that this was a, a, a place where executions were carried out, all right? And another uh, very strong evidence is that, is the, the question that you also may be wondering, why the heck is there a statue of Dom Pedro in the square called Tiradente Square? <laughs> why? So the original name for the square was Lago do Rocio Pequeno. So little, a little Rocio Square during colonial times. It wasn't Tiradentes Square at all. Tiradentes Square was a name given later, probably by the Republican movement. So, uh, and, and well, and also Dom Pedro the first, this, uh, this guy over here, which was our very first emperor, when he, uh, when he, um, uh, when he wrote uh, the Brazil's very first constitution in 1824, he presented it to the people in inside a theater, which was in this area as well. As a matter of fact, in a street, which is called Constitution Street nowadays, Rua da Constituição, which is right next to the square. All right. It's one of the streets that, that surrounds the, the, uh, uh, the square. So funny, right, uh, that um, why would an emperor uh, I, and I mean executions. Uh, it's it was it, it was always normal, even in, even in Europe and in other places, for executions to be carried out, the dirty work, so to speak, in the outskirts of cities. But an emperor presenting the constitution in the outskirts of the city—that's that's a bit unusual. That's highly unlikely. You know, um, uh, uh, to making a comparison, it would be as if in London, all right, it would be as if, uh, as if in London, uh, let's say that uh, the, uh, Parliament uh, passes a new law, and instead of presenting the law to the population in the, uh, in the Houses of Parliament, they decide to go to a farm in the outskirts of London and, and present it to the people from there. I mean, even in even in uh, even in times such as we are living now, it wouldn't make it wouldn't make any sense. Imagine back in in the back in the in the 1700s, uh, or or better yet, in the 1800s when when this when this constitution was uh, was presented, and also, uh, so it makes no sense both for him to present the constitution here as well as it makes no sense for him to put uh, for people to put a statue of him here in the outskirts of uh, of rio am i right and also think of um uh still in the example uh, still in the comparison with england think of a statue of queen elizabeth ii being put in a farm in the outskirts of london instead of i don't know in the center of london you know as there is a statue of um of uh of major nelson for instance you know that sort of thing so uh it makes no sense right unless you want to erase the memory of a certain execution that happened here and which everyone remembers that it was here and which later on the Republicans are drill are drumming in people's heads, right? Get the get the picture? Yeah, exactly. So because you see this statue, it was not Dom Pedro the first who ordered this statue placed over here. Not even Dom Pedro the second. It was monarchists. Uh, when the Republican movement was taking place in the late uh, 1800s, who placed this statue over here. And a lot of historians uh, believe that the reason why they put this statue over here was precisely to erase the memory that Tiradentes was executed here.
Makes sense, right? Uh, uh, I think so too. <laughs> Pardon me, but I think so too. So, and another curiosity involving the prison and the execution of Tiradentes is that, well, you, if you remember from uh, the sentence, uh, both uh, his head as well as the parts of his body, the order was that they would be exposed, right? But, uh, well, <laughs> as I propose the experiment in the video about Carnival, the video uh, having fun in Rio, I believe, I'll also leave a card here for you to check that one out. It was a very fun video uh, to make, and I hope you have fun um, uh, watching it as well. Uh, so, uh, meat, whether it's human meat, whether it's uh, bovine meat, whether it's uh, pig's meat, whether it's chicken, even chicken or, or fish, they have a certain tendency of rotting if it's exposed to the elements uh, by itself. So it won't last very long. And the purpose of an execution is to uh, expose the, 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 either the parts or the, or the person for as long as you possibly can, so that it can be an example, so that it, it can be, uh, an example. Like if anyone thinks of, if anyone else thinks of rebelling, it's like, oh, you, you really want to rebel? That's what happened to the last guy who rebelled. Do you want to end up that way? So this is the, 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 the purpose. So uh, if you can only leave it there for a day or for a couple of days, it's not as if that purpose is defeated, it's not as effective. But ever since humans have learned to mummify, it is well known that if you put salt all over meat, that will preserve the, 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 the meat or, or the body for longer. Am I right? So the same thing happened to the parts of Chiradentes after they were divided. Uh, they were salted so that they could be taken to the places. Because as I said before, nowadays that we have roads and buses and all of that, it takes seven to eight hours to eight and a half hours to get from Rio to Minas. Imagine in colonial times with horse-drawn carriages. It, I think it would have taken at least a day, at least a full day, if not longer. So uh, one more curiosity, this place here in Rio, this museum is originally the place where they took the body parts of Chiradentes so that they could be uh, salted so, at, uh, in, uh, uh, so, as, um, uh, so as to preserve them so they could be taken to the places where they would be uh, exposed. And uh, this publicly exposed. And this, uh, this over here nowadays is the National History Museum not to be confused with the one that caught on fire, that was the Natural History Museum, which is at the Quinta da Boa Vista. Uh, by the way, this museum over, over here is almost in front of the SDU airport and unfortunately nowadays is closed. Uh, currently it's closed because, of, because of, the, of the pandemic and all of that. But as soon as it is open again, Okay, as soon as it is open again, um, I, uh, I highly recommend that you visit uh, this museum. Uh, it's very rich in terms of historic content. You'll go nuts with the permanent exhibits there. And just so, and, uh, and, and just in case you're curious, these flags over here that are permanently exposed there as well are historic flags of Brazil. All of these uh, flags here were once uh, Brazilian flags. Okay, uh, in case you were wondering. And I do plan also on, uh, on making a video about uh, historic Brazilian flags. So stay tuned for that. So stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, so folks, let me stop share over here. So folks, 
this is it for this video about the yes so this is it just checking if there was anything else but but no i've covered everything so this with this we come to the end of this video about the prison and the execution of Tiradentes. And I hope that now you understand why he was called the martyr of Brazil's independence. Okay. And, and, I, hope, and, I, and I also hope you like this video. And of course, as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.